What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how that overcoat should fit. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Doxy Mom, salute. Now, hands down, the overcoat is one of the most stylish, versatile outerwear pieces a man can own. You can wear it with such a wide variety of looks, from streetwear to suited and booted. But just like any piece of clothing, you're gonna hear this from me and other style guys, fit is king. So in the vein of that truism, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the five things I need you to look for when you're buying your overcoat to make sure it fits just right. So without further ado, let's get into how that overcoat should fit. Now, just like with any piece of clothing you're going shopping for, I suggest when you go try it on, you wear what you're typically gonna wear under it. And when it comes to outerwear, I suggest you wear what you think the thickest outfit you'll wear under that piece of clothing. If you're not sure what to wear when trying on that overcoat, I definitely suggest you throw on a suit jacket or a blazer. For example, in this video, when I'm demonstrating how it should fit, you'll see that I had a suit on underneath. It needs to be slim enough that it looks good with your clothing, but roomy enough for your thickest outfits. So with that out of the way, let's get into the five areas you need to pay attention to to make sure it fits just right. First up, just like with any piece of clothing you wear up top, the first place you gotta look is the shoulders. If the shoulders don't fit right, put it back on the rack. Now, how do you know if the shoulders are right? Take a look at the shoulder seam. It should fall right where your shoulder ends and where your bicep begins. If your shoulder seam falls above where your shoulder ends and your bicep begins, it's too small. However, on the other hand, if that shoulder seam falls below where your shoulder ends and the bicep begins, that coat is too big. You do want it to be slightly snug, but not tight. The next area you wanna pay attention to to make sure that overcoat fits just right, take a look at how the collar lays. You want this to fit similar to how you would want a suit jacket to fit. You want it to wrap it around your neck closely and smoothly with no gapping in between. If you're feeling a restriction in your neck area, it's probably too small. Now, let's talk about those sleeves. Now, here's where you're gonna see some difference with your outerwear as opposed to your suit jacket. With the suit jacket, you want the sleeves to be a little shorter so that you're showing some cuff. Not so with your overcoat. You want it to be long enough that it covers your wrist and lightly grazes the top of your hand. This is outerwear. None of the clothes you wear underneath it should be visible. But don't go overboard. You don't want it hanging too long either. Make sure you cover that wrist, lightly grazing that hand, you're good to go. On top of that, you want the sleeves to be neat and slim. Your overcoat is supposed to be a nice trim jacket. You don't want it bulky in the sleeve. However, when it comes to it being trim in the sleeves, you don't want it too tight so that it feels restrictive. Now let's talk about the overall length of that overcoat. The best length for most guys out there is gonna be two to three inches above your knee. You want it to be long enough to cover any garment you're wearing underneath. Remember, this is an overcoat you layer with the longest layer on the outside. Now for my traditional guys who like an overcoat or top coat that's a little longer below the knee, I don't have a problem with that. Not my favorite, but go for it if you like that style. However, on the other end of the spectrum, you don't want your overcoat to be short. If it's short, it's gonna look boxy. It's gonna be closer to the length of a pea coat. This is an overcoat, not a pea coat. It's supposed to be long enough to be over the rest of your clothes. And last but not least, let's talk about how the body of your overcoat should fit. Now you want it to be nice and trim and lie close to your body. However, you do need it to be roomy enough that you can fit things like a suit underneath it. Once again, I highly suggest that you try it on with the suit or blazer on. Once you button your overcoat up, it should be close to the body, but not restricting in your midsection or your chest. But be careful to make sure you don't get it too big where it looks billowy. That takes away from the clean lines of how an overcoat is supposed to fit. When you're wearing your more casual looks, it's gonna look a little roomier. When you're wearing your suits, it's gonna look nice, slim, and trim. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how that overcoat should fit. I love to hear in the comment section what type of outfits you like to rock your overcoat with. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.